Welcome back to Champion News Talk Radio. Thank you for staying with us. This is Carol Parisi with our founder, Jack Roser. And our guest today is Dr. Ari Friedman, who is running for Senate District Number 29. Mm -hmm. And um, Dr. Friedman, what would a Senator Friedman do to help with the dampened economic growth in Illinois? Sure. Yeah, the Illinois Policy Institute recently produced a really great graph. It shows job growth going up almost to the day that the tax increase was passed. And then we start losing jobs again, steadily down and down. And we've lost about 10,000 jobs in this state each and every month since that tax increase was passed. 10,000 per month. Per month, which is the worst record of uh, job loss in the country of the 50 states. So if you had to say one thing we have to do to fix this situation and make it a more uh, economically friendly environment, a business friendly environment, is we repeal the tax increase. This is the first step. Hand in hand with that, we absolutely have a problem with spending. We have to dramatically cut our spending here in Illinois. Where will we be cutting this spending well, from? Well, there's, I mean, it, it ends up being targeted, but largely across the board. Um, two pretty good budgets are out there which do that. The, uh, the state um, Senate Republicans produced a budget that significantly cut spending, and the Illinois Policy Institute had, had a very carefully thought out budget which did the same thing, both of which put us on to financial solid footing mm -hmm. without tax increases uh, going forward. And, uh, and we have to take that route. Again, the states that have done that, just simple, look, I'm, I'm, just a, I'm just a simple country pediatrician, but I like to think I can look <laughs> at the world around me. I like to think I'm a realist, mm -hmm. as opposed to what we see more of in the state, which is people who are surrealistic about mm -hmm, their views mm -hmm, of the state. Mm -hmm. You know, the realistic view is what we do here in Illinois, this experiment in this particular laboratory of the 50 laboratories is failing. We look at the states that are succeeding. Which ones are succeeding? Well, 40... Zom, Obama said there were 57 of them. <laughs> That's right. I was thinking, the, the seven are, are sort of gimmies. Um, <laughs> but the states that have done well, they're certainly not culturally um, something that we necessarily want to emulate here. I mean, Illinois is never going to be Texas. We're never going to wear big black cowboy boots and big, you know, Lone Star belts and cowboy hats. That's not who we are. We have our own culture. Mm -hmm. But economically, decreased government, decreased spending, you know, a minimal tax. They don't have an income tax. Um, those have resulted in... They don't have in, an income tax they don't in have Texas? An income tax. Who would stay around as a businessman and make a logical decision to try to pay down the fantastic debt uh, that sits there in all of those pensions right. uh, for all of the public employees? Uh, a lot of those unions should go the way that they've gone uh, up in Wisconsin, where that governor has always squeezed them down. Right. But uh, Madigan and this... Uh, Governor Moonbeam that we've got uh, <laughs> haven't made any of these good moves. Well, that's right. I'll tell you as a businessman, uh, the big shock to people was, of course, that huge rise, 67% in the Absolutely. income tax that businesses, any successful business was going to pay. In the Why dark would of the anybody night. anybody stay around for that? Right. But yep. worse than that, that is a terrible thing. But you don't get to pay a tax until you have to get in business and make some kind of profit. And, boy, try and do that right. with all of the regulations you've got. Right. These guys, especially that are running Chicago and Cook County, uh, they are experts at uh, ringing you out for a contribution into the Democrat Party, uh, or else uh, you aren't going to get to cut the curb. It's going to take six months or six months to uh, get a permit for your kayaks to go down the existing river. The regulations are as, are as bad as socialism itself. Mm -hmm. It is socialism of the 10,000 cuts. Right. Uh, and anybody that wants to go through that gauntlet and finally get a profit, now you're going to pay 67% more tax on that. Uh, that uh, echoes through the whole United States and certainly all of, of uh, Illinois. And businesses are leaving one after another. This is not small. And, and we were losing businesses prior to that tax increase. That's exactly why the, we lost congressional seats, because our population dwindled. People are following the jobs. If you were to go and look at Indiana and Illinois all the way down the line, you're going to see one area in Illinois that is just devastated. There's nothing there. Mm -hmm. And you look right on the other side of the border, and it is a thriving 
prosperous town. Well, right. because there's let, policy let me, in place that leads to investment, here. innovation, and business We're expansion. We're going to lay out our goal. What we have been working for in the Republican Renaissance is to elect six more senators downstate and six more people to the House. Absolutely. If we can do that, we can take the, the, the rascals that have given us this problem and take them out of power and start to do something about the cure of it. That's why electing you is huge. You're one of the six guys Absolutely. that can go down there and join th people like McArdle and others uh, that have got some real sense and can revolutionize this thing and change it. We see, need six more people like you in the Senate and six more in the House. And uh, that's what the Renaissance is doing along with the, with the Tea Party people, so much like you and what you did uh, to get Joe Walsh elected and copies of you. Uh, that's going to happen all over the state while a cleaned up Republican Party, Renaissance Party, works with the Tea Party, and we're going to get six more. That's all we need. And we can take that away from these Democrats that have debauched my state of Illinois. Five quick points. I'm 88 years old yesterday, and I can remember when the state wasn't populated by crooks of either party. I can and, remember the same thing, and I'm, no, I'm, I'm only 86. And I, uh, I remember the, <laughs> I remember the same thing. This was a great state not too, not long ago, and uh, yes, it's it a, it's a tragedy what's happening to it because the people are exactly the same as they were when you were young and when I was younger. You couldn't get a Dr. job Dr. Friedman Chicago, is not 86. Let's be anywhere. clear. Let's be clear. He's very electable. How old are you, Dr. Friedman? I'm 45. Okay. <laughs> you know, a lot of our listeners that don't know you to think, oh my gosh, we're going to put an 86-year-old in office. Um, when we come back after the break, we're going to finish up here with Dr. Friedman. I really want five points on how we are going to go ahead and uh, get some innovation and job creation back here in Illinois through some of your legislation after the break.